My anti-aging doctor just hands it out to anybody, right? Oh. Uh, oh. 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 I didn't even know I was on it. Ozempic. This is Ozempic. Ozempic. Yeah, the whole town is on Ozempic. What? What is going on? Does anyone even know what the drugs they're prescribing or taking do anymore? Ozempic and Wygovi are based on semaglutide, which helps diabetics manage their blood sugar and helps with losing weight. As you can imagine, everyone and their dog is finally trying to reap the rewards of the first miracle weight loss drug doctor recommended, right? I live in a world where miracles don't exist and hormones don't lie. So let's get a real understanding as to what's going on here when we take Ozempic or Wygovi. Before we go into how they work, we need to understand in general how hormones work. Hormones are chemical messengers that usually operate in a long winded banana phone. Some stimulus is received, which triggers one hormone, which triggers another hormone, etc, etc. When we exogenously bring in a hormone, we disturb the natural pulsatile flow of our own hormones. Now this isn't a problem for people who happen to have a disease like diabetes where they don't produce insulin. So if you bring in an exogenous insulin, it's okay. But if you have functioning hormones, bringing in exogenous ones is probably gonna mess you up. So stick around and we'll break down exactly how. As we covered earlier, Ozempic and Wygovi's active ingredient is semaglutide. Semaglutide works by activating a receptor called glucagon-like peptide 1. This mimics the effect of a hormone the body naturally produces with the same name, GLP-1. GLP-1 helps to regulate blood sugar levels by stimulating the release of insulin from the pancreas and helps with losing weight by slowing down digestion and reducing hunger. Stimulating the release of insulin is the effect most sought after by the diabetic patients looking to control their blood sugar. But as we said earlier, there is a deficiency of GLP-1 stimulation in these patients, so thus it's warranted. In the gut, GLP-1 also impersonates a couple of very important metabolic hormones called ghrelin and leptin, and really the stars of today's video. Ozempic suppresses the release of ghrelin, which is a hormone produced by the stomach that stimulates appetite. Ghrelin levels typically rise before meals, signaling to the body that it's time to eat and fall after meals. Leptin is a hormone produced by fat cells that plays a critical role in regulating fat metabolism. It acts by decreasing food intake and increasing energy expenditure or fat metabolism. Leptin levels rise in proportion to the amount of body fat and serve as a signal to the brain that energy stores are adequate, which helps to reduce hunger and increase energy expenditure. As lots of people like Elon Musk or Chelsea Handler are taking Wygovi or Ozempic for weight loss, they have no idea what they're getting themselves into. What? Not only are there short-term side effects and drug interactions with drugs like birth control, which we'll get into in a second, there's also substantial hormonal changes that occur over time. As Ozempic activates leptin, it triggers systemic fat metabolism. And as leptin is being exogenously stimulated, there is no negative feedback loop to make the fat metabolism stop. This is one of the contributors to buccal fat metabolism and is seen in the cheeks of people with Ozempic and called Ozempic face. And what would happen if we, hypothetically speaking, stopped taking Ozempic, God forbid? While it does suppress appetite and reduce hunger, when the medication is discontinued, some people experience a rebound effect, leading to an increase in appetite and food cravings. This is because when the exogenous suppression of ghrelin is removed, ghrelin is actually upregulated. And to put the cherry on top, because this weight wasn't lost due to an increase in metabolic rate, rather a increase in catabolic hormones, the body is actually slowing down its metabolism, resulting in metabolic adaptation, making it harder to lose weight in the future and harder to keep weight off. Ozempic's main side effects are nausea and diarrhea slash constipation, but it can have potentially serious side effects when combined with other medications. Ozempic affects the absorption of oral contraceptives, reducing their effectiveness. Quite an important side effect for many of the women taking Ozempic. Additionally, Ozempic can increase the effects of blood thinners like warfarin, increasing the risk of bleeding. I used our software, Polypharm Solutions, to find out this information. You can sign up for free on our website and sign up for the waitlist for our mobile app. So today we learned how Ozempic works, its effects on ghrelin and leptin, 